let me uh, let me clean up this uh, screen a little bit here. Uh, that. So essentially, when you're working with sequent, there's actually there's actually different types of files. The mm -hmm. simplest one to work with is a sequential file, mm -hmm. which basically means the the records, the individual records, are read in sequence. Mm -hmm. And like the, from the first one down to the last one, bum 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 bum. Yeah. And when you initially define the file in the environment division, mm -hmm. this assign to clause has to match what's in the JCL. Mm. And this select clause has to match everything else in the rest of the COBOL source code. Okay. So down here, when you're defining the actual data in the data division, mm -hmm. the file description has to be what's in this select statement up here in the environment division. Yeah. And that's what you'd use in the procedure division uh, let me see here. Yeah. When you actually mm -hmm. open the file in a particular mode. Yeah. And what you'd specify when you, uh, when you finally close the file when you're done. Mm. And when you're actually writing to the file, you'd reference the name you gave it, the name you gave the particular record. So the data mm -hmm. you write out would be the data for a particular line in the file. Mm. So when you're writing to it, you would say, write to that, that particular record. Mm -hmm. So the write command has to match what's specified here in the file section. Okay. With the pick line on it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It's a, it's a little confusing because it's opening and closing. The, you open and close files, mm -hmm. but you read and write to records. Records, I get it, I get it. Okay. Yeah, I get it. So you're opening and closing the whole thing. Yeah. But you're writing to a specific mm. record. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get it. I get it completely. I, I hope I haven't confused you too much or turned you off to COBOL. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I think I'm even more like getting into it even the more I'm getting it. So I'll tell you what, I'll uh yeah. I'll stop this recording and uh Okay. Let me see here. Maybe one more thing. Um just um mm -hmm. when you so like when you open the file when you're writing the file, yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, so let's say up there when you're selecting the, the, the file to and then assigning it here. Yeah? Right. Say, let's say I've started with the source code here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So do I automatically have to come in now and um, key in the details of the assigned to the JCL? So are you talking about how to get data in? how to create that JCL um, oh, for, for that, for, yeah. Yeah, JCL is a, is a whole other monster to work with. 
<laughs> it has its oh my it, it has its own syntax and uh, mm -hmm. its own specifications so mm -hmm. that, that's a whole other monster to tackle entirely uh, i can mm -hmm. send you a couple of references right in the chat mm -hmm. so i'll tell you what let me uh let me stop sharing visual studio code let me bring okay. up uh, let me bring up IBM's documentation here. <laughs> 